Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing good and having an amazing day. Thank you very much for stopping by. Now, in this video, I will be talking about the train task in the Derby, which is also the town visitor task. Over here, you can see um, this is to fully serve 23 visitors in your town. Now, this task is one of my favorites because it's really simple to do. It takes, um, it doesn't take a longer time. Also, it's um, very easy because my town is max. And I always say that if your town is not max or maybe if it's not upgraded to a certain level that is good, don't really bother to take any train tasks because they could be frustrated. When your train is not max, you have to wait a very long time, which is so annoying. Like, I can't wait. Um, I know some people must be out there that can wait, but I honestly cannot. And it's so annoying to do those tasks. So first I'm just gonna fill my boat. Oh my god, I need tons of milk, which I'm sure I don't want to use. It's really sad that I don't have any diamonds right now. I've been spending a lot of diamonds on the Maggie. She's so expensive. Um, and I kind of think that I don't want to use her anymore, but it's such a challenge to complete her and yeah, so um, I cannot even hire Rose because when I have diamonds, I always hire Rose. She's so good to keep a good stock of milk and bacons. You guys see I'm short on milk and bacons as well. But I'm just going to fill one crate over here. I'm just going to do all these, uh, the, the bell paper ones. All right, there I go. I'm going to do one this and then I'm going to ask for help. Now, I'm not sure where I'm going to ask for help. Um, I'm just gonna ask for help over here. I'm not sure if my neighbors have milk. That'd be really annoying to do 16 milk. And I've been selling a lot of things over here in my shop. I'm not sure if you guys took any, but you can see I've purchased a lot of things. And I've been selling all my town tools because I don't need them anymore. So if anyone needs them, please tell me or you can come to my shop. I sometimes do sell these tools because they're extra. Also, they take up a lot of space in my barn and I don't need them. But yeah, I'm just going to put in an advertisement. I forgot. All right, there you go in the cloche hats and I'll just wait a little bit more. All right, let's get to my town. Now I'm going to show you guys how I do my train task. Now, this is basically um, to fully serve your town visitors, which means that when a town visitor gives you a gift, that is one townie fully served. Now, this basically means that when you complete a certain requests um, from a visitor, for example, if it needs to go to two buildings, and when you complete those two buildings, then it will give you a gift at the end of the stay. And that's how you fully serve a townie. For example, this is my train, which is fully maxed, level 19. I could pick up 10 townies every one hour in 30 minutes. If I go over here to Sharon, you can see there are a few townies waiting. You can see Simon, Daniel. Oh, my town is currently full. But yeah, now these are the townies that you can pick if you want to fully serve. Because they only go to one building and you can complete um, them really fast. You can serve them and they will not take a longer time. They only have to go to one building, which is fine. Also, I really love the new town hall. Um, this has different tabs. But before 2017 October update, I guess, we didn't used to have these tabs. And it was so frustrating and long to go all the way down to see what you have. But now it's so simple. Now I'm just gonna go to ready. Over here you guys can see I've got a plenty of townies that are ready to be collected so i will collect the ones that still have to go to the buildings there i go two i always do that first then i'm just gonna go over here okay wait i just got a message from the group chat we also have a facebook group chat where we um oh god All right, so I'm just going to send some away, the ones that still has the buildings to go, and I'm going to see how many are ready. There they go. Oh my god, I was going to just collect the reward. It's so simple now. It's really easy to do things. Now, these are, you can see, our goals. I'm just going to send the ones away that ask to go to two buildings, because I don't want to do that. Now, you can see, these are the ones that only want to go to one building now. So, um, I will just send them to there, and you can send the wait in. Okay, there you go, the waiting one fruitcake. There you go, and I can wait more. 
Now, if you don't have the train task, or if you're um, trying to prepare for that task, don't tap on your buildings. For example, like this, if you tap on the building, all your efforts are going to go wasted. Now, you can see I've got a gift, which means I fully served the townie, and I need to do 23. So I'm just going to be collecting them because I know that I have the task, and I can collect them. But don't collect them if you haven't taken the task, or if you know that you're going to take the task later. So, um, manage your town by the town hall. Also, if you go to the settings, you can do whatever you want to do. You can start out what kind of thing you want. You can start out the waiting tab by the towning type or the building type. Now, I love the building types in the idle section because it, it helps me to see which of the townies want to go to the one building only because I always serve those that need to go to the one building because I can get, you know, a gift and... That's cool to get the gift from the town. So that's why I always serve those ones first that need to go to the one building. But I don't always send away my townies. I know some people do. What they do, they send away the ones that need to go to the three buildings. Um, but I don't do that. For me, uh, the main reason of the town is to level up in the game. And of course, to get the tools as well. So I serve all of my townies and I just never send them away. Even though they have to go to the three buildings, they still give me XP and reputation points, which can help me to level up in the game in my town as well. You can see that, um, oh, thank you, Jen, for the cream. I've already leveled up quite a bit in my town. I'm close to level 20, no, level 47. And I think my training task is going to get completed. So you guys can see I had to prepare. Oh, there we go. 350 points for my amazing town wizard task, which is completed. That is so cool. And that's how you do this amazing task. Now, I think I've completed all of my tasks. All right. So I got a total of um, 3,420 points, which is cool. Now, whole my town is done. I'm just going to go to the person train. I'm going to be picking up some townies. Now, the person train is the key if you want to do these tasks. For example, I'm just going to pick um, three from here. And I'm going to go to Sherry's farm. Let's see if she has any townies. Yep, she does. So I'm just going to be picking a few more. There you go. Oops, I don't want to go there. I'm just going to go to Nailed. All right, there we go. I have picked a few, and I'm going to go to my town. Oh, and I got a booster. So we have a new friend request over here. Mimi, welcome to my farm. I hope you enjoy. All right, I'm just going to do their buildings now. So I'm going to get back to my farm and have a look at the derby. My tasks are completed, and this is how I do my train task. Um, this is how you prepare for your train task. You have to prepare a little bit before um, taking the task. And it's really simple. It doesn't even take a long time because my buildings are actually max. So they take a little bit of time, and I don't really have to wait a lot, you know. I just can send things really faster. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little short, or maybe it's longer, I don't know. And I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching, and bye now.